Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your favorite program, The Parrot Show. Coming up on tonight's program, the Drop-In Center in Tala Village last month organized an intercultural event to mark the 2008 International Week Against Racism. The show basically was about celebrating the diversity that we are currently experiencing in Ireland. It was about celebrating ourselves and celebrating togetherness. And Peron's show was there to bring you the exciting moments of the event. So ladies and gentlemen, please relax and enjoy the show. Because like you know, this show is about celebrating you and celebrating who you are. My name is Peter Oginan and I remain your host. On the 8th of April 2008, the Dropping Center at the St. Miriam's Church in Tala organized an intercultural event to mark the annual Anti-Racism Week. The host, Tendai Madondo, who will be contesting in the 2009 local elections in Tala, opened the ceremony by introducing the Minister for Integration, Conor Lenahan, and Charlie O'Connor, TD. Thereafter, she went ahead to introduce the guest speaker of the event, Mayor Rotimi Adebari, the mayor of Potlish, and the first black mayor in Ireland. And ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure and honor of introducing the first citizen of Mayor in Potlish. This person, before I invited I ask, came to come forward, has been an inspiration not just for general people, for African immigrants, for all immigrants here in Ireland. He has shown us that it is possible to go into a new country, live in solidarity with the people, be appreciative of the people that you join, you know, just embrace the culture of the, of the country that you, you go in and today you live in. And it's been an inspiration for everybody, and I just have the honor of inviting Mayor Adebari advised immigrants to be involved in the political, economic and social cultural activities in the country. This, he said, is the only way for a genuine integration. We're talking about diversity in multicultural Ireland. You can trace it back to the 1890s. That is when we become very evident. That is it to say there hasn't been multicultural. And I happened to come into the country at the peak of it. I came in in 2000. And um, that was about the year that maybe the country had the largest asylum seekers coming in in 2000 and 2001. I must say that I happened to be one of those numbers. But the fact of the matter is, I will always remain grateful to the local people. I will always remain grateful to the Irish community. Because it's one thing for you to come into a culture and you are armed, equipped, and ready to roll, ready to embrace, is another thing for you to be embraced. I arrive here with a mindset of what can I give back to this country. I mean, the famous quote of um, Jeff Kennedy, think of what you can give to America, not what you can actually get from America. That was the mindset that I arrived here with. What can I give back? And it is all about integration. What are we actually talking about? We're talking about political involvement. We talk, I'll just summarize it in three words. We're talking about political involvement. We're talking about economic involvement. We're talking about cultural involvement. So these are the sort of things. We have to show the interest in what interests the host community. That is the time that it goes for the show interest in our own. The host, Tendai Madondo, agreed with Mayor Adebari that Ireland is a country of a million welcome. I want to celebrate the warmth of Irish people. I actually had a say earlier this week um, from a very nice student politician that I'm not going to mention. But I thought that actually adequately describes Irish people that they are in innately decent. And this is what I got from Mayor Adebari. Irish people are innately decent. They're very warm people, they're very welcoming people. We had to very as laid it out that it would not have been possible for him to be where he is right now if 
Irish people had embraced him. And every immigrant was come to Ireland, no matter when they came, it's something that we always say. Yes, we don't like the weather, we don't like the L50, we don't like other things, but we like the war of the Irish people. We want to celebrate you, all Irish people. Let's just clap for the call Irish Ireland right now. The coordinator of the dropping center, Sister K. Mulhol, was so excited about the people of Potlish embracing Mayor Adibari, as this reinforces the belief and practice of the dropping center. That's what integration is about, as I said. That's what we were about here, too, in Thailand and Russia, actually. Trying to create a space where people can get to know each other, where they can build confidence, where they can uh, feel accepted, and where we all move forward together. We're celebrating difference, we're celebrating diversity, and we're celebrating together. Series of cultural performers entertained the crowd. The Ghanaian cultural dancer gave a smashing performance. <laughs> restaurant is the best and it's um, I find it very relaxing. It is a very nice place and I love the food. Hi, I come here every weekend and it's great. Anytime I come here, I, I feel at home with the Nkwabe. It is in Akanda. Come in and enjoy yourself. Mm, it's okay. the right place to be. See you. Project officer of uh, the dropping. Yeah, what are we That's doing here today? Well, Peter, today is National Anti Racism Day. Yeah. So, this is a very special day where we celebrate uh, diversity and um, the, the, the new communities that are emerging in Ireland coming together with local Irish people in Tala. And it's a celebration of difference, a celebration of what we each have to contribute to the other, what we each can learn from each other. Um, and rather than seeing each other as a threat, um, to see each other as, as to, to see the enriching aspects of living interculturally, the challenges as well as and the enriching aspects. Uh, do you think the real integration is taking place in Ireland and in Tala in particular? Oh yes, of course. Compared to um, seven, eight years ago, I would say we are in 2008 now. So the real integration is taking place. Um, in Tala, it's extraordinary because Tala, South Dublin County Council is like um, uh, uh, it's leading by example. It's an ex exemplary uh, county that every other country should emulate, you know, so because we have a lot of concentration of immigrants here in Tala, by so doing the different activities bring everybody together. When you look around um, all the participants of today's event, you can just see the diversity in everyone and the smile on everybody's faces, you know, the dancers, the, 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 the ministers, and to top it all, you have the mayor, but least here, so you can see the diversity. It's a wonderful day. Yeah. You've been here, this is about the fourth intercultural celebration now in the dropping, do you think we are making progress? Of course, we are actually making progress. We are making progress because if we compare to about four or five years ago, it's not like this. You could see different group of people these days. They are all coming together. We are working together. We all agree in one thing to do. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are even happy to see people like T 
TD here, extending their view with us, asking them questions, and they're answering it. So I believe that um, there's a great hope, and we are moving forward. The, the minister did pose a question. Are you registered for the next local government uh, election in Yeah, we are actually registered, and I believe that we are going to participate. We are going to all work together. Are you registered? Oh yes, I am registered. We are looking forward to uh, to make history here in Tala as well, so that um, uh, um someone, a member of the immigrant community, can be voted in. So we we are registered. As okay. you know, Peter yourself, you 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 are one of the forces behind the um uh, voters registration in 2004. Uh, so we are think, moving forward. I think we, have, we are going to do that again. Exactly, you know? exactly. Yeah. So, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And, uh, congratulations okay. on your show. Yeah, Clement Esebame, the quality officer to Tala Partnership, while commending Rotimi Adebari in his achievement, challenged the Minister for Integration, Conor Lenehan, and TD Charlie O'Connor on their readiness to support an immigrant in Tala to contest for 2009 local election. Uh, now, my very uh, tiny question really is that we are privileged here to have our two sitting TPs uh, in the door discuss here today and I want to really applaud their commitment to the issues of immigration and integration in Tala. Thank you very much. The question I want to ask is to both TVs will that is that the second what Rotary has trail plays on the other side of the country will the city take this year be willing and openly, not only supporting an immigrant or a traveler to participate and become elected into our Southern Democratic Council, will they actively actually promote such an agenda? And that's my question to you. The minister in his reply started by wishing that Rotimi was a member of his party, Fina Foyle. He stated that he was ready to support an immigrant candidate, but advised immigrants to register in order to be eligible for voting. So, you know, I think this is a big change in Irish life, and I think the fact that we don't have any barrier to people standing at the party level is a very good thing. And the only thing I want to say here today is it's not just about political parties, it's people like myself, Charlie, Councillor, Joe Neville, and I know that Tim Giles is thinking of putting your hand into the ring and running. There's also an obligation on migrants and people from the newcomer community to get registered. And I do know that I, I told that back to migrants and people standing for the election the first time. Make sure your friends and your people are on the register. And that applies to Irish as well as non-Irish. Charlie O'Connor, TD, agreed with the minister that immigrants wanting to join the political terrain should be empowered as Ireland is now a multicultural society. The atmosphere was charged up as the Indian dancer thrilled the crowd with her fascinating and energetic moves. <laughs>